Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a Marilyn Monroe makeup tutorial for Halloween and I decided to film this iconic makeup look which I have a reference picture right here from her Instagram. She has a verified Instagram. Um, I don't know who runs it because obviously Marilyn Monroe isn't alive today um, but there's a lot of great photos of her and some of her iconic photos so yeah, she has a verified account in case you didn't know. Um, so I decided to film this makeup look and recreate this look because I don't know how to do special effects makeup because I've never tried it But I still wanted to do a Halloween tutorial So I really hope you enjoy as we all know Marilyn Monroe was a sex symbol and she was the ultimate bombshell and she established this name for herself through her iconic look first I'm gonna prime my skin now Marilyn Monroe always had super glowy and um, dewy skin to keep a youthful look so I'm first gonna go in with the Becca first light priming filter and apply this all over my face and I always prime twice using two primers to extend the longevity of my makeup Now I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer for my T-Zone. Now for foundation, I'm going to mix my Fenty Beauty Foundation from Rihanna with the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation. And I just mix these two together because my Fenty one is too light. So I apply about two pumps of each foundation. I want a super full coverage look. So I'm just gonna mix these two on the back of my hand. And then I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. And then I usually just go like that. And then I take a makeup wipe and then wipe my hand. And now I'm going to blend out this foundation with the Urban Decay Optical Blurring Foundation Brush. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. And Marilyn has a super arched eyebrow and her eyebrows were created in such a high arch to give her face a more heart-shaped look, which it totally does. So I'm going to arch mine a bit. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, gel brow kit. It's very messy and almost finished. Um, but I really want to get a new brow powder because this is like really dark on me um since i dyed my hair a lot lighter like i noticed in pictures i'm like well my eyebrows look really dark so i don't use as much product so i'm just gonna okay so i'm gonna try and create more of an arch but making it thinner more at the bottom because my eyebrows are more straight Mm, it's not really an arch. Okay. Hopefully I can like uh, uh. but then I wanna make it like thinner here. I need a bigger mirror. Let's look. Okay, yeah, it's more arched. Okay, but I'm gonna I'm just gonna Wipe it here because I wanna create more of an arch. 
I do not want to pluck my eyebrows and make it more arched at the bottom. So I guess I'll just keep it more arched at the top. So I went in with the gel and then I always set it with the powder. But I always conceal around my eyebrows to clean up the shape. So I will go conceal them off camera and prime my lids as well and then come back to start the eyeshadow. As you can see, after cleaning it up with concealer and then just going back in with the brush with still some product on it, um, definitely has made it look a lot better because it's always very messy when I first do my eyebrows and I don't conceal it. But I'm really, really happy with how they look. I think this is a nice, suitable arch for my eyebrows. So I've primed my eyes and I've set it with the white shade in my matte nude palette from the Balm Cosmetics. So first I'm going to go in with an all over white shimmery shade. So I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. I'm going to be using this white shade, the white highlighter shade. But another option would also be the Aurora Glow Kit from Anastasia, the shade Luna. Grab a flat shader brush and just take some white. The mirror is huge here. And just ooh, apply this all over my lid. And then in my inner corner as well. I'll have to retouch that when I apply concealer. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going in. Eyelids are looking super bright. So her eyelids are very contoured. Using grayish brown tones. So I'm first gonna go in with this cool tone light brown. Well, more of a neutral actually. And apply this in my crease, but um, staying more upwards. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. This is a Too Faced brush. Meet Matte New Palette again. I freaking love this eyeshadow palette so much. And I'm going to go in with the gray shade called Meet Abdul. And just applying this directly into my crease. I'm gonna grab meat, meat, I mean matte wood, the darkest brown. And just apply this carefully into my crease. I will highlight my brow bone with that same white shade from the Carly Bible palette. I've just applied concealer, the LA Girl Pro Concealers. Um, lately, I've just been applying a lot of concealer because I'm into that super full coverage. So I'm going to blend it out with a foundation brush and then go over with a buffer brush. And I just like to go in between my eyebrows like this or like pat it so that um, it looks more seamless the front of my eyebrows and I've also um, got back into using tape with my eyeshadow to create a really sharp look um, but on the daily I usually just clean, um, create it with concealer so I just create a lot and then I just stay under it but actually I'm just gonna cut it some more How to set my face, I only bake now because that just 
is the best way for me to prevent my face from getting really oily. I'm going to use the Gosh Prime and Set Primer and Mattifying Setting Powder. Gosh is a... Uh, it's made in Denmark. You can buy Gosh at Pharmapri slash Shoppers Drug Mart. But every product I'm using is cruelty free. Go under my eyes. So it always gets the most most oily around my nose. So I apply a lot there. I'm going to just bake under my jawline. And not bake where my contour is going to be. Don't slide. Oh my god. Don't slide the powder puff because then you're just going to move the makeup and create streaks. Well, I'm going to let that sit for about five minutes not really any more than five minutes then my face is going to look dry and i'm just going to take the crease brush and just wipe off any powder she applies um lisa eldridge has said in her lisa in her marilyn monroe makeup store i mean that she applied that her makeup artist applied a liner underneath to create a shadow from her lashes so i'm gonna Oh, liner. Oh my god, I have to do eyeliner. So she actually used a brown liner and not a black liner. And it was pencil, not liquid. And all this information that I know about her makeup is from Lisa Eldridge's makeup tutorial. And I will link that down below as well if you'd like to see um, her Marilyn Monroe look as well. So I'm going to grab this Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner in Simba Brown now. And... I'm just going to create a line. Okay, this is really hard holding up a mirror. Yeah, she goes all the way down her inner corner. actually pretty good so i'm gonna do the other eye then i'm gonna um highlight my brow bone curl my lashes apply mascara and then come back to wipe the bakage off and apply lashes i actually love this liner look on me i think it looks actually good pencil liner i think it's so much easier to use than a liquid and having the line more straight just suits me a lot better. So now to wipe off the bakage, I like to grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And as you can see, I finished the two matte powder shades. So I'm gonna use this powder. And um, I know it does look shimmery. It's the color sand. Oh my God, I just dropped it. But it is just a sheen. Like it barely shows up. I just apply this. Just have more makeup on my face. <laughs> Your face should always feel so stiff after you wipe off the powder. Before lashes, Marilyn had a very winged out lash. Like everything about her eye makeup is very winged out to create that sultry look. So I'm going to stack lashes because I don't have lashes that really look like the ones she wears so i'm gonna stack the ardell 120 demi wispies with the kiss eyelashes in number 11. so i'm using this for length and the winged out end and then the demi wispies for more volume so while i have stacked the lashes they look so good <laughs> And what I always do is I curl my lashes so that it's curled 
and it's more seamless. As you can see, I hope you can see a difference. So my twin sister Morgan has bleached peroxide blonde hair, exactly like Marilyn and Rose. So I, th oh, I told her this morning, I'm like, oh damn Morgan, like it would've been so cool to do this makeup on you and put like rollers in your hair because she, ha and she has the same like hair length too. Like it would've looked so cool on her, but Morgan um, got a new job and it was her first day today. So I straightened her hair for her so she can look prim and proper because she's working at a high-end um, retail clothing store now. And I'm very happy for her. I'm gonna grab the liner again and I'm just going to trace a line underneath my lash line and extend it underneath my lashes. I'm looking at the picture so that it looks like a shadow and then we'll smoke it out of it. So. Now, oh, I did line my upper waterline with the same brown liner, so um, there's no gaps or anything showing. So now I'm going to contour my face with my Anastasia contour kit. I'm just going to use the middle shade. I'm so proud of my makeup. Yay. <laughs> so now for blush um keeping in with the youthful look i'm gonna add a nice pinky blush i'm gonna take my bh cosmetics 10 professional blush palette i'm gonna grab these two colors and just dab in once because these are super pigmented And just stay more on the apples of my cheek. I'm gonna go back in with my meat palette and what I've been doing is I take a this is a concealer brush and I just dab into the white powder and then apply it where I want it to be highlighted. Now I know this is an eyeshadow but It just makes it look so much more brighter, I find. Now I'm gonna grab the th a fan brush and the same shade we used on our lids and just a little bit, because I do not wanna apply a lot. And just on the highest points of my cheekbone. And I will apply some more on my nose though. I will set my eyebrows off camera with a brow gel. So for the lips, I'm gonna line my lips with the Essence Lip Liner and Femme Fatale. And then lipstick, I'm gonna use what I use in my Megan Fox tutorial, the Bare Minerals statement luck shine lipstick in seriously red oh, there was a baby who was just like crying really loud you hear that I almost forgot about her infamous beauty mark. So I'm gonna just grab bra bra a black pencil liner from Urban Decay. So it's on her left side. And just dot a beauty mark. Okay, so I'm gonna set my face, put my hair down, I think, and then come back. This is the completed Marilyn Monroe makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see 
more recreated looks or transformations, I'd love to do those. Um, I just applied a white strapless top from Zara because I don't have any white top similar to her iconic dress. And I took off my shirt very carefully that I was wearing before. And I just um, did my hair in a low bun because my hair looked very bad down. And I think it looked better up because you're able to see um, your face better. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future videos of mine. Follow me on Instagram if you'd like. Follow me on Visco as well. I will be posting pictures of this look. And yeah, thank you so much for watching again. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.